Back. There's all some right. headsets. Let's get some seat belts on all the way around for me, please. And exec tower, good morning, airship 157 lift off. Ready to push back from our mobile mass for a uh, departure towards the uh, universal. But, uh, let's go with the right turnout. As you can see right here, obviously we're in, under the control of the crew. Obviously they're going to uh, push the nose either way that I need to go, left or right, since I have really no wind coming over the control surfaces. They're in control of the ship while we're on the ground. The beast burns about 15 gallons an hour. So if you do the math, an hour, that's about uh, about 100 pounds worth of weight that we're going to add on. So today, we're going to do about eight bags, because obviously the sun's coming out and uh, our lift is going to increase as the day goes on. Let me, let me go. Oh, actually, 
actually 40, 45 miles an hour. But you'll see the difference once we make the turnaround and we head back towards the field. We'll probably only be going about 25, just because we'll have a headwind and a wait and a return trip. So generally, we average about 200 to 300 miles a day. It is a, a very small number. Uh, our claim to fame is that there's uh, less uh, airship pilots than there are astronauts. So that's our little uh, our little claim to fame. So right now, I'd say there's probably about currently, besides the beast, you only have maybe two other airships, three other airships flying in the uh, in the U.S. right now. And overseas, there's you don't have any. So you're looking at only really three airships in the world right now. Is there a certain wind speed that you can't go up? Yeah, usually we try to sit within uh, 15 to 20 miles an hour. And then we pretty much uh, on the ground just because it's uh, it gets a little switchy on the ground. Uh, what's our altitude at right now? We're at uh, 1,000 feet and we're averaging about 18 miles an hour for the return trip. Gotcha. Is it the blimp? Is it uh, helium? It is helium, so if you can see at this porthole right above me, there's like a bladder within the main envelope. So that bladder is filled with air, and then as the helium expands with heat, and then it increases, uh, it contracts with uh, the cold mesa at night, we make up the difference by pumping air into that ballon A. So all these controls, you see all these valves you see, and when I play around here with the damper, it's just to regulate the air pressure in the envelope. If the pressure gets too high, I'll go ahead and vent some air out of there, out of the bladder. And if it gets too low, then we pump air into the ballonet. Eh? So that just basically just keeps the shape of the airship at all times. So whether it's on the ground or whether we're up in the air. This, uh, this, uh, the beast carries about 200 gallons of fuel, of avgas. So with a full tank, we could probably stay up in the air for about 10 to 12 hours. Um, so you figure by the time we land, it'll probably burn about half of that, about 90 to 100 gallons, depending on the wind, on a six-hour flight. I hope you stop for a potty break. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's the one thing. <laughs> the, the restaurant in the sky does not allow it. No, re no uh, restroom breaks. So obviously, we always plan accordingly. No food, no, no fluids for the day until we, uh, we're up, back on the ground. How many different balloon companies are there? You mean as far as airships or? Yeah. Well, here in the States, you have uh, Goodyear, of course. They have uh, three airships throughout the country. Obviously, Subway, so that's uh, four. And then there's a new company that's just coming out of uh, San Francisco that's called, uh, I believe it's uh, LTA. It's their, uh, they're a new uh, airship company that's trying to kind of break into the, right. the airship world. As you can see as we come in, it might seem like ants up ahead of us, but uh, they're going to form a, a V formation, and that's basically just to let me know what the wind is doing on the ground. As we get closer, you'll be able to see the guys coming in towards the ropes. We go ahead and uh, catch them. So, so Goodyear actually owns their airships. They're the only company that actually owns airships. This, there's two airship companies, so for Subway, this is actually just rented, right? So we basically rented for a certain period of time, got it wrapped, what have you, but because I think there's only two airship companies that let you do that, right? That's correct, yes. Yeah. And if you do look at it, there used to be a lot more. There right? used to be a lot flying around, correct. Yeah, over the years, um, there's less and less, so there's there's not a lot to make experience. I didn't realize Goodyear had three of them. I thought they just had one. No, they have the one in Pompano, they have one in LA, Carson, California, and then, uh, in Akron, Ohio is like their main, their main base. Wow. Are all rides this smooth or does it later in the afternoon, does it get a little bit more bumpy? You get a little bit, but for the most part it's been smooth. Yesterday was very smooth obviously because we had that uh, cloud uh, layer for most of the day. But they do say morning's the best time to ride. Morning's definitely the best time to ride. Eh? You guys better pick the right time. So you can see one of our uh, one of our crewmen is up on uh, on the mass. 
So he's going to hook up uh, the cable that's right in front of Alfonso's hands right there, and that's going to help us to keep the nose aligned to the to the mast. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us on uh, on the thank subway you, airship. Thank you. Thank you.